The Catholics are angry at Pastor Batchelor because they claim he lied to his congregation about what the Catholic Church teaches and believes. This man is confused. This man is deceived. He's ignorant. He's a hack. And these are the kind of people that are leading so many Protestant churches today. If you want to know more about this, do keep watching and don't go anywhere. Hi everyone, you welcome back to my channel. My name is Lawrence. If this is your first time here, here on this channel, I share with you things that are happening in and outside of the church. So if it sounds like something you might be interested in, consider subscribing to this channel so you don't miss any video we upload. Now, in one of his sermons, Pastor Bachelor exposed some teachings of the Catholic Church that he thinks are not biblical. And among these teachings are the issue of Catholics bowing down to statues and the issue of the change of the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. Now, let's listen to what Pastor Bachelor said exactly about the Catholics worshipping statues. The Bible teaches that we should not bow down to statues. Exodus 20, verse 4 and 5, and you got it right there on the stones behind me. I'm sure you can read that in Hebrew. The Roman Catholic Church says that we should bow down to statues. Not ancient tradition, but it's a medieval tradition. And I don't think anyone here will contest that you've all seen uh, devoted Catholics praying before a statue of Mary or one of the saints. And by the way, I, I have Catholic friends that will say, well, Doug, I'm not really praying to the statue. I know that's just a statue, but it makes me think of Mary or it makes me think of St. Joseph or whatever the saint is. Well, that's what every idolater says. When people pray to Buddha, do you think that any Buddhist who's bowing before a statue of Buddha really believes that that statue is Buddha? No, they'll tell you, no, it makes me think of Buddha. That's what idolatry is all about. All right, now the question is, do Catholics bow and pray before the statue of Mary or St. Joseph or any others, just like what you are seeing on your screens right now? Now, the Catholics are denying that they do not pray to Mary or they do not bow before any statue. Instead, the statues in Catholicism are only representations. So let's listen to what the Catholics are also saying in their defense. The Catholic Church tell us to bow down before statues. The Catholic Church has always condemned that. The Catholic Church does not believe that these uh, statues are manifestations of the divine in any way, just as the uh, Ark of the Covenant did not have the angels manifested in any way. But when we look at the angels and see them bowing down, it's a reminder of us that we need to bow before God as well. And all of heaven and earth bows before the presence of Almighty God. When we, we do, first of all, we don't pray to statues. We don't worship statues. We use them as representations. So when I see a statue of St. Francis, it recalls his life and how he followed Christ. Or if I see a statue of Mary carrying Jesus, it reminds me of how she was his mother. But we don't bow down to them and worship them. The Catholic Church forbids them. All right. He mentioned that they don't bow before statues and also they don't pray to statues. But just watch the photo on your screens right now. What are the Catholics doing? Are they not bowing before the statue of Mary? Are they not praying before the statue of Mary? Also, another concern is that this Catholic did not quote a single Bible verse to support all that he said about images or statues in Catholicism. Exodus 20 verse 4 says, We should not make any image or we should not make any statue in any way or in any form and pray to them or bow before them or worship them. We should only bow before God and not statue. So I think this thing in Catholicism is idolatry in disguise. All right, now, the Catholics are saying something weird about the Sabbath right now, which I want you to listen to and bring in your comments. But let's first listen to what Pastor Bachelor said about the Sabbath. The Bible teaches that the seventh day of the week is the Sabbath of the Lord. Exodus 20, verse 8 through 10. The Roman Catholic Church openly admits that they have substituted the first day of the week for the seventh day of the week, claiming the church has authority to alter the law of God. What the Catholics are saying right now is that the New Testament never tells us to keep the Sabbath. He said the Catholic Church admits to changing the Sabbath. <laughs> but in reality, the, yes, the Bible does tell us to keep the Sabbath in the Old Testament for the Jews. It does not tell us to keep the Sabbath in the New Testament. Now, this might not be a problem if it didn't tell us to keep the other commandments as well. But here's the deal. The Bible, the New Testament, specifically tells us to keep all 10 
commandments except the Sabbath. It never teaches us to keep the Sabbath. Jesus told us not to kill, not to steal, not to murder, honor your father and mother. I mean, the Bible, the New Testament tells us to keep the Ten Commandments except the Sabbath on which it's silent on. Jesus never tells us to keep the Sabbath. Peter never tells us to keep the Sabbath. Paul never tells us to keep the Sabbath. Nobody in the New Testament tells us to keep the Sabbath. So, And what they don't realize is that all the Christians back to the time of the apostles worshipped on Sunday. Now let me address some of the things that the Catholics are saying right now. The question is, did God make the Sabbath only for the Jews? The answer is no. Mark chapter 2 verse 27 tells us that the Sabbath was made for humanity and not for the Jews alone. And also we see in the book of Genesis that the Sabbath was there before the Jews came into existence. So we cannot say the Sabbath was made only for the Jews. It was made for human. Also, he mentioned that the New Testament never tells us to keep the Sabbath. But my question to the Catholics is that where in the Bible or where in the New Testament do we find that we are not to keep the Sabbath but the other nine commandments? I want you to give me a single Bible verse that proves that we are not to keep the Sabbath commandment in the New Testament but we are to keep the other nine commandments. Let's see something here. Luke chapter 4 verse 16 and James 2 verse 10 all prove that we are to keep all the 10 commandments as Christians. We are to keep them and we are not to keep some and leave some, especially when you read James 2 verse 10. So what the Catholics are saying about the Sabbath is actually incorrect and there is no single Bible verse that proves what the Catholics are saying right now. Now, because the Catholics were so angry at Pastor Bachelor because he was exposing some things of the Catholics that are not biblical, they used these strong words to describe Pastor Bachelor. Prayers. This man is misusing the word of God. And if I'm getting upset, it's because he's taking the Holy Bible, which is the holiest pure word of God, and he's desecrating it. So this man is confused. This man is deceived. He doesn't know how to understand scripture. He's ignorant. He's a hack. And these are the kind of people that are leading so many Protestant churches today. Now my question is, is it fair for the Catholics to use these strong words? I think this is just theological discourse and so it shouldn't have elevated the anger of the Catholics to the extent that they use these strong words to describe Pastor Bachelor. But you shouldn't attack the person as if you're having personal issue with them. Um, this is um, actually not a great one, right? So my friends, at this time, you can start bringing in your comments the Catholics bowing before statues and the change of the Sabbath and everything that went on. Let us know what you think and share your ideas, share your thoughts, all right? All right, so this is all that I had for you today. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and share with friends. And thank you for watching. See you next time. My name is Lawrence.